This is following Hurricane Helene that affected the southeastern United States. We can't help but have uh, broken hearts today as we've seen the incredible damage and the loss of life from this uh, incredibly big and powerful storm all the way from Florida up into Virginia. And so we lift up all of those victims and our first responders in our prayers and uh, we're doing all we can in Virginia in order to support them. There was a lot of debris that came into this, which is the New River Valley, which is where we're located now, with the headwaters starting in North Carolina. All of the debris and the issues that happened up there are, are floating downstream. There's a dam here, which is a hydroelectric dam. Hydroelectric dam means there is now public safety issues, and the drinking water here, also a public issue. So with that, the governor of Virginia has stated that this is an area of emergency, and because that's the safety of the public is very paramount, both with the state and federal government, he has requested assistance. FEMA gains the requirements and the requests from the state, and then we serve as the engineering side for FEMA, executing the requirements and requests of the state through FEMA. So following a disaster, a couple things happen. Generally, you get a declaration from the governor, and the state has capacity to do certain things, but something like a lien, it will probably exceed their capacity. So FEMA will send in an initial team, and they'll have somebody like myself, an assistant team leader and a team leader, to help scope out potential missions that FEMA might mission assign us to do. In this case, we originally were looking at critical infrastructure and debris. So EOC, or Emergency Operations Center, is the heart of the operation where all of the communications coming in from the field, and it's kind of like a giant switchboard to take that information and then find out what the needs are from the people and then feed back the appropriate resources that you need for that situation. But you have a core staff that works there and works with local emergency management and they might have their own emergency operations centers to gather that information and feed that up the chain. So we're here at Claytor Lake in Virginia and our primary mission here is to ensure public health and safety. And part of that mission within the debris removal subset is to remove debris, which could be construction demolition material, vegetation, household hazardous waste, uh, metals, etc., that are in the waterway as a result of Hurricane Helene. So we have a contractor on site that is actively uh, starting up debris removal response efforts. And we are working hand in hand to ensure that operations go smoothly and safety in, in the public interest. Yeah, so up ahead is one of the loose docks. It's actually got three fingers. You can tell it's flipped the wrong way. And then it's tied off to a tree up on the shoreline to keep it out of the waterway. There is a lot of surface area of the lake and it is important that we get a lot of the debris that is scattered throughout. There are some swaths where it's um, piled up and then areas and coves and inlets where it's a little bit more difficult to get to. So our contractor has smaller vessels that will go out to those coves and inlets to collect that smaller scattered debris and they'll bring it to a centralized location. We've been mobilizing. So mobilizing is the acquisition of equipment and moving equipment from all across the United States, predominantly from North Carolina and from Louisiana, and bringing it here to the site. Our main focus as a requirement from FEMA is to remove the surface debris from the water. The smaller vessels that we have out here, which includes the uh, gentleman who runs the marina here, he has a pontoon and a fast boat. We're using that for reconnaissance. So we're going around the lake. I understand that there's not strong tidal influence here, but there is wind influence and there's other means of the debris moving around. So we'll have small craft doing reconnaissance out there. And as we're doing that, we have pontoon barges and other pieces of equipment coming in from Louisiana and those are barge sections which looks like a small container that floats and with that we're able to put excavators and roll-off containers on there and once we find the debris fields and where it's concentrated we'll move the debris from the surface and once it's on site as you can see behind me I have a 300 ton crane that's putting equipment on and off the water those containers filled with the debris are coming off we'll load that from here and we'll move it to a consolidation site also here within the state park. The debris field itself impacts navigation of the waterway. It also could impact the, the dam itself. It's fall, fishing is impacted. Initially, it was Pulaski County Emergency Management, which then became Virginia Department of Emergency Management. They came in and started setting up removal of the hazardous materials. EPA 
has been been a partner. Friends of Clater Lake have been on the water since day one, you know, removing debris, moving people's boats. Army Corps Engineers is here now. So removing that debris and allowing them back to more of a normal livelihood would be great. The agreement that FEMA and the Commonwealth of Virginia currently have, there is 90 days for them to complete the mission to get 100% reimbursement for all of this from the federal government. After that, it goes to a cost share, which is typically a 75% federal, 25% state cost share. So with that, there's that initial 90 day onset, but the mission is not complete until the surface waters are complete. And with the state being the client in this, and we are serving the people in the Commonwealth of Virginia, they are the ones that are gonna dictate mission completion, not just us saying all the debris is clear from the lake. And that's our focus, is to make sure that we are getting this back to safety, both for recreational use as well as for drinking water and for power generation.